167 million worldwide? I'd like to see the G string that can hold all those singles. Yes, no doubt about it, the first Magic Mike was abtastic, so now Channing Tatum is back for an encore performance with Magic Mike XXL. But just like any strip show, while old favorites are important, so is new blood. That's why today we're going to take a look at the fresh flesh in the Magic Mike sequel, hitting theaters this July 2015. Now in a move surprisingly similar to Pitch Perfect 2, although that movie seems to be borrowing from Magic Mike itself, the Kings of Tampa are heading to a stripper convention, which means they'll challenge other teams of strippers. Or does that go head to head? Oh, so many wonderful opportunities to be naughty here. But as Fifty Shades of Grey is also proving, audiences love it. So again, just to recap, our returning champs, the Kings of Tampa, are Tatum's Magic Mike, Joe Manganiello's Big Dick Richie, that's his name as you might recall, Matt Bomer's Ken, Adam Rodriguez's Tito, and Kevin Nash's Tarzan. Not returning to the stage are Alex Pettifer's The Kid and Matthew McConaughey's Dallas. Will this mean more stage time for the underexposed Manganiello, Bomer, Rodriguez, and Nash? Unlikely with the new talent lined up. One very interesting addition is Michael Strahan, former NFL star and current TV star. And considering how well his career is going, one has to wonder what Strahan has in mind for his future that he'd risk his wholesome image to bear all. And in fact, Magic Mike XXL is adding a lot of color, with So You Think You Can Dance as Steven Twitch Boss joining the cast at Tatum's personal request, as well as Donald Glover? He does have the abs for it and has shown an affinity for going shirtless. And apparently Ellen's streak for discovering talent continues as her gardener, Billy Rylick, also joins the cast. But will he be happy or sad? Who cares, as the results are the same either way. Finally, male fitness star Christian Boving also stars, no stranger to pleasing the ladies after appearing in the October 2000 issue of Playgirl. But in a total mood killer, he recently admitted to steroid use, although fans of male strippers might not care since the least important part of the target area is what shrinks from steroid use. Ah, but you should care. Shame on you for encouraging steroid use. Anyway, if there are still some guys still watching this episode, awesome, and I'd like to reward you by telling you about some of the ladies joining the cast of Magic Mike XXL. I can't promise you any particular state of undress, but maybe you'll get lucky with the sex scene? New edition Amber Heard had no problem with nudity in The Informers, but the odds seem less in your favor with Andy McDowell, Jada Pinkett Smith, and Elizabeth Banks. But this casting does beg the question, will Tatum's Magic Mike hook up with an older woman? So, do you like the new items on Magic Mike XXL's menu, or are you still most excited to see your old favorites, or just Magic Mike? And will it feel weird to see Strahan or Glover strip? Plus, while the first Magic Mike was fun, at this point are we starting to feel a little too dirty? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.